This proves that JJ's been here, right? Yes. And not very long ago. And if he was here, then Kit must have seen him. Carly, they ripped up his IDs. Do you know what that might mean? Don't even think that, Jack. If they wanted to get rid of JJ, they wouldn't have left evidence right here Kit, for anybody remember, to find. Kit's friends with Silas, so it's just about everybody else that comes in this place. Well, don't just sit there acting like there's nothing we can do. We have to talk to Kit. We have to find out exactly what she knows. No, 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 no. Carly, we are going to play this my way if we want to get our son back. We're not going to confront Kit. Not yet, anyway. We're going to keep our cool and our cover, okay? Okay. All right, we have surprise on our side right now. Let's keep it that way. We don't want these people to know who we really are. You're right, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just... I understand. This guy, Silas, could be taking... JJ farther and farther away. I don't I'm think. Gonna... I don't think they're going anywhere. Why? They Why couldn't. Not? They couldn't have got to Idaho much before we did. Okay, if they were in this room, they weren't here for long. I, I doubt they even spent the night. Then why were they here? Maybe they needed something from their friends: money, food, a, a place to stay. Anyway, now that they got it, they're probably laying low someplace nearby. I'll bet. So what do we do? Well, I, I'm gonna go make some calls. I want the FBI and the local cops to stay in the background, but I want them to know what I know and what direction I'm heading. I just. I'm supposed to stand here and do nothing. No. You think it's gonna g give me anything now that she thinks I'm a two-timing jerk? Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks to me. Yeah, well, also thanks to you. She gave us this place to stay, so I want you to do your magic. You get her to trust you and spill whatever she knows before she even knows what's going on. All right? I can do this. I can. I know that you didn't want me to come here, but I can, I can make it up to you, Jack. Everything that Listen, I did wrong... You've got nothing to hurt. prove to me. Carly, let's just concentrate on finding JJ. That's all I'm thinking about. Let's do this. I'll grab a six-pack out of the car. Yeah, well, try not to drink it before you get back. Well, if it does, we got plenty here. Yeah. Thank you, kid, for everything. You think he's coming back? Oh, I know he's coming back. <laughs> what makes you so sure? I got his spark plugs. <sighs> smart cookie. <laughs> well, if I was smart, I wouldn't have gotten myself into this situation to begin with. Mm, well, you could have done worse than him, I guess. Believe me, I have. Thanks for letting us stay here. Try to work things out. Look, I keep my books back there, so I hope you know you ain't gonna get much privacy. We'll deal. Well, something sure smells good around here. Mm, well, it ain't much, but it's something. Can I get you some? If my husband didn't spend all of our cash on, on the house. Here. On the house. Really? Mm -hmm. We take care of our own. Oh, well, that's good policy. I suppose most of your customers here are regulars, huh? Oh, yeah. Ain't much else to do around here except for eat, drink, and be merry. Mm -hmm. So then you don't get many people just passing through like us, then? Well, not unless they're looking to bust somebody. And I, I suppose you know, like, the whole life story of all these people, huh? Yeah. You can bet I know how to keep it secret, too. You want to go into business yourself, you learn real fast how to keep your mouth shut. Which reminds me, I got work to do. Right. Oh, I know. I know. It's just nice to talk to somebody who's actually talking back to me. <laughs> Something besides, you know, grunts and belches. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he ain't yelling. You can count your blessings. <clears throat> you know, speaking of that, Kit, you know, I happened to see this couple walking down the street. Earlier, Girl, they, they were know, you way. talk a blue streak. It's no wonder your man needs a break. It's taking a long time out there. Yeah, you probably just can't figure out what's wrong with the car. <laughs> He's a real moron when it comes to anything mechanical. He, he fixes everything with duct tape. Okay, well, <laughs> I got... out there all day. I got business to do, honey. So if you want some lunch, you go help yourself, okay? Yeah, thanks. I'll let you know as soon as I have more info to include on the APP. Thanks. No, I, I appreciate it. W-A-K. Katie. Jack, how are you? Are you okay? Have you found JJ? Listen, I can't talk long. I just wanted you to know that tip from the biker's really panning out. I can't thank you enough. Well, tell me what's going on. Well, we're in Manly, and we're pretty sure that JJ's being held nearby. Who's we? The FBI? No, Carly. She found something at JJ's. Wait, Carly's with you? It's a long story. I'll explain later. Okay. I love you, Katie. I love you, too. I'll, I'll let you know as soon as we have more, okay? Miss you. Bye. Bye. Hey. 
What? No sorry I'm late? I know you'll dock my pay the same either way. Never mind, I stayed a half an hour late last night when I closed. You stayed and drank half a bottle of my gin. Don't think I didn't notice. Bathrooms need cleaning. Not my job. It is now. But you can start by cleaning table three. Go on. Hi. This is in my station. I know. I'm just saying hi. Oh. So listen, I'm uh, real sorry about your boss there. I've definitely been there. <laughs> I'm used to it. She hates men. Huh. That's funny. I love him. Good for you. Or should I say good for us? Closing again tonight? If I still have a job, you'd be around? Oh, yeah, I'm staying here. In the back room. Oh, well, that's incentive to stick around another day in this dump. <laughs> so, do you think we could um, be alone? Just the two of us? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's usually dead at closing time. Hopefully, it won't be like last night. Really? And what happened last night? Uh, some ex-con friend and kid showed up, this wife and kid. Whiny little brat. Brat? I mean, it's, it's no wonder. I mean, who would bring a kid to a place like this? Mm. You'd be surprised. So how old is that kid? I don't know. 12? 13? Why? You gonna call social services or something? <laughs> no. No, I just, um... I wanna know what the chances are of us being alone together. You think they'll be back? Mm, hope not. No, you sure ask a lot of questions. She's not the only one. 